Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and today the most basic video about any, actually any OpenTX compatible radio and the basic OpenTX setup. The things that you have to do to set up your OpenTX to work without, let's say, any bigger problems with any flight controller like the INAV Betaflight, CleanFlight, EmuFlight or ArduPilot, PixHawk, almost anything. In this video we will create a new model, disable things that you do not really need when you are using the flight controller, like for example trims, and we will what assign some channels and uh, and yeah, let's begin. The first thing, the first thing that you have to do is of course is you have to create a model. I already have a few models, but let's not look at them at all. Let's just use option create model. And now, now the OpenTX will ask you a question. Do you want to set up a glider or a plane? What about the drone? For drones or actually for anything, absolutely anything that's using any flight controller, Ignore this dialog completely. Just hit return. This is enough to create a model inside of the OpenTX and continue from now on. After creating the model, the model automatically becomes the active model. So we can go with the model button into the first page and uh, add a name. In my case, it can be even Rodel15 because it's fine. We can scroll down, set up and bind. By the way, I will not cover binding uh, right now for the binding. I have a separate video. The link is in the description. So we will not uh, down throat. We will concentrate on more important things. Like for example, when you are using flight controllers, you do not need any trims. The trims are evil. They are doing evil things absolutely do not use trims where you are using a flight controller and when you accidentally will change the trims you might actually start changing the behavior this is unwanted so step number two disable all the trim the trims can be disabled on the flight mode stop so let's just go to flight mode zero by the way we also we won't be setting up any flight modes inside of the OpenTX because all of that is handled by the flight controller itself. So, for every single trim, select and change it to none. This way, there will be no possibility that accidentally touching any of those switches, you will change the, the position of the stick and you will have like strange situation over there. So, just disable every single one of them, period. Step number two. Step number two is to ignore the inputs. There is nothing interesting for you on the inputs if you don't want to set up the RSSI via one of the channels. But since right now majority of the receivers automatically either transmit the RSSI via the protocol or one of the channels. This is not needed at all, at least at the state of 2020. You don't have to worry about this. Let's go to the mixer. And if you are coming from the non-flight controller sword from airplanes, traditional airplanes, when you had to set up uh, the throws on the servos and the expos, you might be tempted to play with those values. Like, for example, you might be tempted to change the weight, change the offset, change the curves at some expo, or even maybe reverse one of the four major channels over there. Here, Aileron, Elevator, Throttle, Rudder. Absolutely do not do it. No, 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 no. The flight controllers or the flight controllers requires the radio to send no expo, no any other weight besides 100% and absolutely never do not reverse any of the channels if the flight controller does not expect you to do it. You might be tempted, okay, my left or right servo is moving wrong direction, on the traditional airplane, you know you have to reverse the channel. Here, no, you do not reverse any channels ever. They have to stay like they are from the factory. On the flight controller configuration, you might check if, for example, moving the ailerons right moves the bar right. If they're moving this up, move the bar up. That's all. Never at any expo, 
any limits, any weight changes, any other changes to those four channels. And actually, usually also for any other channels. The next thing we might do over here is to assign some channels for the switches. How to do it? Just enter the configuration, change the source, and with the flip of the switch, the OpenTX will remember which switch you assign to a channel. In this video, I will not exactly tell you which switches should do what. This is up to you. I will probably record another video about this topic. This is all for now. Just enter the channel value. Go there, flip a switch for the OpenTX to know which switch you want to use, and that's all. And to be honest, you are almost, almost, almost done. Usually you do not have to change in any of those tabs. Maybe discover new sensor if you are using telemetry. But from time to time you might have to do something in the output tab. So, first of all, try to avoid changing the directions of the channel because this is no-go. What you from time to time might actually have to do, because of different receivers uh, might understand the, the, the values correctly, the gimbals might not be perfectly calibrated, there are dozens of ideas that might be, dozens of things that might be over there. So from time to time you might have to ensure that every channel, when the stick is center, by the flight controller is read as the neutral position, usually 1500. How to do it? Go to the outputs, the last, no, second to last column, and with a slider change the midpoint so that the flight controller on this channel reads default midpoint position. That's all. Do not try to go subtrims or reverse of the directions. Usually you really, 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 really do not have to do anything like that. Okay, that's all for today. That was the fastest, the simplest, the most basic setup of your any OpenTX radio. I used Jumper T16, but for the FlySky radios, FRSky radios using OpenTX, it will be exactly the same. And in majority of the cases, you do not have to do much else to be happy. By the way, the default uh, channel order for majority of the flight controllers, like for example INAF and Beta Flight, is ailerons on the channel 1, elevator pitch on channel 2, throttle on channel 3, and yaw on the channel 4. That's the most obvious, the most popular order of the channels. If your radio, for a known reason, assign the channels in a different order, then you might want to change it or change the channel mapping in the flight controller itself. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.